Hello Future Millionaire. Uh, today, first video from the office, let's call it that way. I come here quite often because this is one of my favorite spots. And uh, today I want to address a previous video I posted not too long ago. And I want to um, create a challenge for everybody involved in the Bitcoin space. Because I made a video about uh, Bitcoin Cash versus Lightning Network. And there's somebody who is very familiar with the Lightning Network has uh, written a very long um, post comments talking about that I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm not experienced in Lightning Network, which it could entirely be true. So here's a simple challenge, and I really mean it. What I've done is, let me get my phone. What I've done is I have um, downloaded the four most popular Lightning Network onto my wallet and I will show you I hope the screen can capture that I'm gonna make uh, screenshots on the phone as well next to me so one is called a blue wallet another one is called a moon or moon another one is called a phoenix then the last one is called the wallet of Satoshi so these are four different lightning networks and I want to put it to test I'm gonna show four different wallets on the Lightning Network. All of them are brand new. And I want the person who wrote the article about Lightning Network and telling us how great it is to send me one cent. And on top of that, I want him to encourage every single Lightning Network user to send me one cent. And they can choose which wallet they want to use. All right? And then in comparison, I'm going to show everybody my Bitcoin Cash wallet, a fresh one that just created for this challenge. And everybody who watches this video, feel free to send me one cent as well to the brand new wallet. What I want to demonstrate here in real life is I could be wrong. It could be Lightning Network is incredibly popular. It could be Lightning Network was everybody's using and I don't know anything about it. So let's find out. OK, send me one cent. Let me start with Wallet of Satoshi because this one claims to be the easiest wallet to use. So here it is. Wallet of Satoshi. Now the next one is Phoenix. This is a very popular wallet. Now here's the Phoenix wallet. The next one is called Moon. Moon Lightning. The last one is called a Blue Wallet. This is the only one I have bit trouble with. It looks nicest, but it looks like to receive money, I have to create an invoice. It's called a Lightning Invoice. I wonder why that. But you know what I did? I created an invoice for one cent. Send me one cent on my blue wallet. So if as the uh, person who, from the Lightning Network supporting team saying Lightning Network is easier, better and cheaper than Bitcoin Cash, then it shouldn't be any problem for you to send me to four different wallets, one cent each. And the same thing I'm doing now on Bitcoin.com wallet. I created a brand new wallet called 111 million Bitcoin Cash versus Lightning Challenge wallet. This is the Bitcoin Cash wallet. Please, anybody who watched this video, send me one cent. And you, send, you can send it from as many different wallets as you want. Send me one cent as well. Now, here is the 111 million dollar Bitcoin Cash versus Lightning challenge. If I receive more one cent payments on the four different Lightning wallets all together, so it doesn't matter which one, as long as somebody sent me via Lightning Network one cent, I will count as one transaction. Just one cent. Don't send me more than one cent. If you send me more than one cent, you fail the challenge. So I only will count the one cent as, as the vote or as a counter i give each party 24 hours you guys only have 24 hours 
anybody who watched my video, of course they are BCH dominated. So there will be a lot of people sending me BCH, one cent BCH. And for those who invest in BCH but never really used it before, here's your golden opportunity to use this as practical use. Send me one cent from your wallet. You can easily do it, it's not that difficult. If you don't know how to do it, ask somebody in the uh, down below. In reality, all you have to go is go to bitcoin.com, follow the link, or go to your app store and look for Bitcoin, the word Bitcoin, or search for the word Bitcoin wallet. Then the first one come up will be bitcoin.com wallet. And then send me one cent from your wallet. And so if the Lightning Network users send me more one cent, then they win. If the Bitcoin Cash users send me more one cent, then Bitcoin Cash wins. Here's a simple task. If there are more people sending me one cent Lightning Network payments, then it shows to me in real term that Lightning Network is more popular. And therefore, Bitcoin Cash has no reason to exist. Let's just say, say it out loud because Bitcoin right now is more popular. All right? I'm just following your logic, the Maxis logic. The second layer solution will solve all the problems on BTC. So send me one cent. It doesn't matter which wallet you use. I'm going to count them all. And I will be very transparent because this is, net, this is a blockchain, right? I, if you send me, you have a receipt. You can, if I fake this, you can show that it's uh, fake. You have the addresses, so I can't fake this thing. So send me one cent. And here's my prediction. <laughs> Any good investor wouldn't live, can't live with himself without making a prediction, right? My prediction is, I will receive 10 times as many payments on the Bitcoin Cash Network than on the Bitcoin Lightning Network after 24 hours, at least 10 times. So now my viewers, please help me to make this true. Send me one cent from any wallet of your choice. I don't care how many times you send, just send me one cent. I believe firmly at the end of this challenge, not only Lightning Network will have one tenth of the transaction, on my phone i wouldn't even be surprised not a single person sent me a single cent on the lightning network because based on everything i learned so far about lightning network it is extremely extremely difficult to use and i have one more proof for that i watched the video uh, about uh, the miami bitcoin conference and in that conference they have this uh, counter where they sell drinks for Bitcoin or Lightning Network Bitcoin. And then they were interviewed by somebody and talking about how easy it is to use the payment. And then in the same clip, I remember very clearly, the person who is explaining to the other person, to the interviewer, that it's easy to pay with Bitcoin and Bitcoin Lightning Network. At the same time, he received a bundle of US dollar cash in his hand and he's trying to find changes in the cashier, <laughs> in the cashier machine to find changes for the drinks that someone buying someone was buying at that moment so while he was explaining to people why everyone should be using bitcoin and bitcoin lightning network to pay at a bitcoin conference the biggest one in the world in miami at the same time he was receiving payment in u.s dollar notes <laughs> and giving money back in u.s dollar notes i find it's very ironic I, because i have perfect visual memory for moving pictures so i remember this thing very vividly this i watch this couple of weeks ago but I still remember the whole thing very vividly so I'm gonna try to find the link to that footage or I might even capture the footage myself and put it somewhere here on the side or something to show you guys what I'm talking about but I'm happy to be challenged so the person who replied to my uh, post about lightning network now is the time for you to shine send me something okay send me something prove to me that Bitcoin cash is bad Lightning Network is the ultimate solution. Alright, that's so much for that. See you in the next one. Bye.